Um, I'm making this video about my emergency uh, survival, winter survival equipment that I carry with me. I hope that people see this video and will um, make some suggestions on things that I should change or add or whatever. People who maybe have actually been in a situation where they needed to be able to uh, survive a, a day or two in their car, what did you do that you see that I don't have here that would help me? My situation is I'm now living in North Dakota. The winters here can be quite severe. Um, I also drive a semi truck here in the oil fields. And anybody who works in the oil fields knows that the, some of the areas you're in are pretty desolate. Um, you may not uh, see another vehicle the whole time you're out there. Uh, and some of the areas are too far for cell signals to get out. So I needed something to have a kit, basically, in case one, my vehicle somehow became disabled and I became trapped somewhere and something to help me in case of an accident. So if, if something were, were severe enough where my, my vehicle not only was disabled, but maybe all the windows are busted out because it got turned over, and because it turned over or something, I need to be able to protect myself from the elements. Now, obviously the first line of defense there is gonna be clothing, shoes and that kind of thing. I have all that already, but I need something additional in case I have to survive. Now, um, uh, so what I did is, first of all, I have this, it's an 18 gallon Rubbermaid container with a top, I have a top here somewhere. And uh, this is what I keep all my survival equipment and gear in. Um, here in North Dakota at the Walmart and in Williston, they're not available. They only have the ones that are about half this size. I just happen to have this one I brought from home that I purchased for other things for storage at home uh, in California. So again, in case, whether I'm in my cab or not in my cab, I've got a sleeping bag. Now this is not a really um, uh, high quality sleeping bag. Um, I believe this was purchased at Walmart. It's not the mummy style which I may get later, I don't know, but for right now I think this is sufficient. It is quite warm, especially since I'm going to be fully dressed using this anyway. I don't know that I need the money style, I just considered that I may at some point decide to get that one. And again, if you're out there and, you, and, you, and you've had to experience this and you think that's a good idea or not a good idea, please, please let me know. Um, <clears throat> something else I purchased are these bungee cord packs. Um, now I've already inventoried this and it's not complete so I'm going to have to take it back to Walmart and get a different box. But I can use this to, which you'll see in a minute, for using tying down, lashing down and things like that. Um, here, all of this material that you see, all these products here I think, except for this he, no, I, actually, everything here I purchased at Walmart. This is uh, what they call a thermarest. This is to insulate me from the ground. It's not very thick, but it's better than laying directly on the ground. Oh, and it doesn't fit in my container. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Maybe if I unpack them, shoot. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, here I have a tarp. This is to protect me from the wind. I can uh, secure this using the bungee pack and make a, a lean-to basically to protect me from the wind. Also, to help me protect me from the elements, what do I do with it? Oh, here it is. I purchased from Walmart a two-man tent. Um, I haven't opened this up in inventory. I haven't seen how it assembled, but from the directions on the outside, it looks like it's pretty simple, but I will be opening this today probably 
seeing how it works so that if I ever have to use, use this in an emergency, I already have an idea what's involved before I even start. Um, then I also purchased from Walmart. Uh oh. I think there's supposed to be another piece to this. I'll have to look. Yes, there is. Hopefully it's in my truck. But this is a Mr. Heater little buddy. <clears throat> and the way that works is bought these from Walmart too. This sits right on the top of the bottle. There's a base. Again, I have to find. Must be in my truck. Uh, but the, the base fits in the bottom of the bottle. The heater portion of it sits on top of the bottle. And then it says that it will last five and a half hours. I have two bottles here, so I've got 11 hours worth of heat if I have to use it. So I can bring, assuming that the truck itself is still intact, I can use this right inside the cab of the vehicle. If something again happens and the vehicle is overturned or something, the windows are all busted out, I can get out of the vehicle, get in my tent, um, and heat up the tent using that. Again, for up to 11 hours with those two bottles. Um, now, it's very important. Please, if you've seen this video and you know something I should be that I haven't thought of, please let me know. I don't want to get out there, be disabled, and bro uh, um, and freezing my you know, off and think, oh, I should have thought of this, but I didn't. Uh, thanks a lot for watching my video. And uh, that's, I guess that's it. Bye.